I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll create a simple list for handling orders of flowers. I want uh, my users to be able to send flowers to customers at various times. And of course, I want to automate that procedure because that's something we do rather often in this organization. So I'll add an app for that. And um, that's going to be a custom list. Um, let's do flowers. And scrolling down, there's my flowers list. Now let's jump right into settings for that one. And when I create a new list, the versioning settings is not enabled by default. So I'm going to enable the versioning settings so that I can see who changed what and what column. That's very important. And then I'm going to change the title field to, I'm going to reuse that. I'm not going to have, um, a title for the flower order because that doesn't really make sense but I'm going to reuse the column. I'm going to use a phone number and of course we need a phone number for the person who is the recipient of the flowers. That's important and that of course requires uh, that this column contains information. So that's a good reuse of the title column. Next we're creating new columns and I'm going to create a um, type of flowers, type of bouquet and I'm going to have that as a choice. Uh, just do small, large, extra large. And again, I'm going to just put those in alphabetical order because that is the standard. And um, the default choice is going to be small for this one, not extra large. Oh, and we can have radio buttons just to make things a bit different there. Okay. And of course, we need to have a recipient name also. So let's create another column for that. And that's just a single line of text. OK. And I think we're about done. The only thing that we need to change now is the uh, column ordering, because I don't want the phone number to be first. I want the type of bouquet to be first. So the type of bouquet should be number one. And the phone number should be third, and the recipient name becomes second. That's perfect. All right. Right, let's test this out. I'll go into the flowers list there. And there we go. That's the flowers list. And to create a new flowers order here, I will simply click on the new. And there's the form. So I have the type of bouquet. I'll have a large one this time. And the recipient name is, of course, Kate Kalmström. Just to serve flowers now and then. And the phone number, let's put something like that. And then we simply save that. And there's our first flowers order. And there we go. Thank you for watching this demonstration.